DNA is an acronym for deoxyribonucleic acid. It has strong UK connections, Watson and Crick being the discoverers of its structure. And it's been known as a chemical substance for almost as long as Darwin, since Darwin wrote his book. But it was 100 years before people recognized that it actually was the physical substance of heredity. So Darwin published 1859, Gregor Mendel did his experiments with pea plants just to establish the fact that there are, well, he called them unit factors, for lack of a better term. There's, there's units of heredity that are, you know, no one, such, such a simple observation, no one had established that in 1859. Mendel establishes this, and you know, it says nothing about DNA, nothing about cells. It takes 30 years before his basic observations are connected to cells and chromosomes, which is how our genetic material is packaged. Another 50 years before people resolve, well, is it the protein part of chromosomes or is it the DNA part of chromosomes that are the substance of heredity? So it was Watson and Crick and colleagues who finally resolved that debate. And like every good scientific question, the resolution of that debate was the start of a new one. And the, the next debate was, well, what is the DNA sequence for humans, for other species around the globe? How does it different from other species? How does it change? How does that inform the question of how we came to be and how our DNA sequences came to be. And our DNA sequence wasn't discovered till 2001. So that tells you just how recent the most critical information on this debate has come to the public knowledge. And only in the last few years have we gotten samples from the different ethnic groups around the globe. And we can begin to say, how many differences are there? Why are there this many differences? What about Africa versus non-Africa? Where did we originate? How long ago did we originate? These are all the questions we can begin to investigate really afresh with this new information.